hello everyone I hope everyone is okay uh, today's session I'm going to give you the more explanation about the course of advanced financial management I'm by name Saimana Everest as you see in my presentation I'm a student of University of Rwanda uh, in College of Business I'm BBA students in finance uh, and also I'm CPA students from ICPAL. Uh, by today uh, we are going uh, to look about advanced financial management. Today topic uh, we are going to study about investment appraisal. Uh, this is uh, a good course uh, in this and is a, uh, and and also it is a good topic uh, so the first of all we are will we will look about the discounting factor DSF discounting factor after that uh, we shall look about the use of free cash flow uh, don't worry I'm here to give you the more detail and more explanation First, let us look about learning outcomes. Uh, here, the student should be able to determine the free cash flow. This is the, the first one. In determining the first, uh, this first uh, free cash flow, students again should be will be able to apply advanced investment appraisal techniques and deal with inflation and taxes taxation here in this course uh, we, we are going to look about investment you have your money you are planning to invest and also you are you are going to deal with with inflation and also taxation how it's gonna affect your investment uh, you, you you will also ask yourself should I invest huh? yes we shall look about the value a firm using free cash flows. Look about the, it is like the uh, importance of using free cash flow. Uh, the next, the students will be able to uh, to get in this course. Uh, we'll call out investment appraisal and capital lessening. Uh, investment appraisal. Uh, it's, it is about the taking a decision uh, where to invest our money. Huh? Uh, here, another thing is about, about capital lessening. Capital lessening. When I say the capital lessening here, uh, you, you, you start to realize I have the three millions, but I have many projects. I have project A, B, and C. But I have two, um, two million only. Uh, what you are going to ask yourself, uh, how many in each project I'm going to invest? Uh, we shall deal with this discalculation in, in detail, where in this course we should apply about the linear programming. Uh, linear programming is about to invest for the sources available. If I have uh, two million, as I said, how many I'm going to invest in the project A? How many I'm going to invest in the project B and C? Uh, another thing the students, the students will earn is about determining the should also earn about determining the modified internal rate of return. When you say about modified internal rate of return. Uh, uh, modified internal rate of return of an investment that is modified to an account for difference between the investment rate and investment return. You, ha you have invested. You have again the returns. You are going to look about the difference. Uh, in this method of modified internal rate of return, uh, it should also develop uh, the unique, uh, the unique, and also 
you can deal with the, the different borrowing and the investment rate. You give the same ranking and the standard net present value upload. Uh, as so, it is simple. You, uh, we shall see about this. What the students will earn, uh, you should also know about to, to, to apply uh, the simultaneation in investment appraisal and advice company. Uh, here, the students can earn the knowledge and skills of advising the company. Uh, another thing, uh, after completion of this, this topic of uh, investment appraisal, uh, the students will also know, know about call out option pricing. Okay, thank you. Uh, let us start uh, with free cash flow. You can ask yourself, what is free cash flow? That is a big question. But so, so we are going to see. Uh, the free cash flow is a cash that is not retained and reinvested in the business. Uh, it is a cash that is not retained and reinvested in the business. You have a cash, you are not going to, to keep it there, but you are going to reinvest it in investment. Free cash flow, uh, it's, it's represent cash flow available to all, all the providers of the cash of the company, of the capital of the company, sorry. Uh, the providers uh, of the capital of the company are shareholders, uh -huh. the banker, are uh, lenders who provide the capital for our company. And another, it represents uh, the cash flow available to pay dividends or finance additional capital projects. Uh, meaning that here, the free ca the, the cash flow, this free cash flow, it represents all things. It's it is going to present, or uh, it's going to present the cash flow available to the providers of the capital of the company, meaning that the shareholders. Another things it is going to show us the cash flow available to pay the dividends or finance additional cash capital project so simply we are going to talk about how to calculate this free cash flow uh, it is the local like a waste uh, free cash flow is equal to revenue minus cost minus investment uh, if the company is working it's gonna to earn the cash info the cash is gonna come in a company. That is the revenue. Uh, if the company is working, is gonna spend some amount of money. Of, uh, some amount of money. That's what we call the cost. Is gonna to incur the cost. Is gonna pay the rivers. Is gonna pay the different activities. Is gonna pay tax. And also. Uh, if a company is going to start, they have to invest this amount of money. So to get the free cash flow, you have to take revenue minus cost minus investment. Uh, the free cash flow used to evaluate investment project are therefore essential. The net relevant cash flow. Uh, therefore, we have look about the free cash flow, the definition, the cash that is not retained and reinvest in the business. Here, the net relevant cash flows associated with the project are the free cash flows it generates. Uh, so the discounted free cash flow are tot totaled to provide net present value of the project if you are taking take that revenue 
you are going to raise the cost, you are going to raise investment, you are going to discount uh, that net the free cash flow and you discount it. You are going to discount like 0 0.1. That is a discounting fact in order to get net present value of the project. Okay, thank you very much. This is was presentation. But tomorrow session, we are going we are going to explain about the project appraisal, uh, about dealing with inflation, dealing with the tax. So, uh, make sure you have subscribed about this channel. And God bless you. Continue to make subscribe and share for other students in order to gain the more skills about this chapter. Thank you.